Well, while we celebrate Memorial Day with barbecues and beach trips, we honor those who've protected our freedom. Always, we want to go beyond the headline and look at the history of this American holiday. On Memorial Day, we salute the men and women who died while serving in our country's armed forces. It's been a federal holiday since 1971, but its history goes all the way back to the mid 1800s, right after the Civil War. The war led to the creation of national cemeteries, and by the 1860s, cities and towns began holding springtime tributes for fallen soldiers. In 1868, General John A. Logan called for a national day of remembrance on May 30th, calling it Decoration Day. 5,000 people showed up at Arlington National Cemetery that first year to decorate the graves of 20,000 Union soldiers. The holiday continued for decades, commemorated every May 30th, with the name eventually changing to Memorial Day. After World War I, the holiday changed to honor American soldiers killed in all wars. Fast forward to 1968, Congress passes the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, marking the last Monday in May as Memorial Day and declaring it a federal holiday.